Hello, friends. Welcome to Art Week 4. Okay, I think you're going to like this assignment because you have an option of um, going outside to make something for this assignment. Uh, you can also do it inside as well. So I am going to share my screen and tell you what I am talking about. So one moment, let me get my slides up. Here we go. So you are going to be building something called a cairn. All right, so what in the world is a cairn? All right, let's read and find out. You see some pictures of examples right there. Maybe you have seen some of these yourself out there in the wild. Let's see. A cairn is a tower of stacked up stones. People have been building cairns since prehistoric times. Often they are used as trail markers to help travelers and hikers find their way and not get lost. Sometimes they are used to mark a place of special significance. Cairns come in many shapes and sizes. So one of the things you're going to want to really do, um, well, before I get to that, these are your choices. Um, uh, you've got two ways you can build your cairn, okay? You can do it by stacking stones, which is the traditional method of building a cairn, uh, which is I have seen many when I've gone camping. Uh, people uh, love building these things, okay? It's all about stacking and balance. So I want you to, to challenge yourself and see how many things can you stack in your cairn and how tall can you make it? Oh my goodness, it can be tricky, but do your best, all right? And uh, don't give up. It's all about patience, taking your time, and moving slowly and being careful with that balance. So I'm gonna show you um, some uh, more strategies. Well, this, we're gonna get out of this uh, slideshow, but um, to any grownups who might be helping you uh, with this assignment, this shows you here how to uh, take a picture of this assignment and turn it in. It just walks you through the steps. But for now, I am going to switch over to my iPad and that view. I'm going to turn off my camera here. And we're going to switch to my iPad camera. And here we go. Get my laptop out of the way here. And one of your first steps, uh, I think the first step you can do, first of all, obviously, gather your materials. If you're building it with toys, um, you can gather up your toys uh, that you think you can stack up uh, real high and make your cairn, or go outside and build, uh, gather your stones. And once you gather them, you want to arrange them by size. Lost my video here. Let's get my video back. All right, here we go. So I'm showing you here. I'm just taking my stones and I'm going to try to set them up from biggest to smallest. That's going to help me um, organize how I'm going to stack this. And I've got one teeny tiny stone on the end. So there are my stones that I'm going to build a cairn with. I'm going to just do a, a stone example, but of course you are free to try with toys too. I think it's a little tougher with toys, but it can be pretty fun. You saw in the slides that I did do an example with toys and it worked. Uh, it's, it's just um, toys are, are not as flat and uh, ideally uh, the best stuff to build a cairn with is going to be the flattest uh, stuff you can find. All right, so look at this, I stack that on there. This one actually is probably a little bigger than that bottom one, but I still got it to balance. Let's try this, can I balance that on there? And you just go, oh, I gotta move it a little more. So if you feel it tipping, you just, you just gotta move it away from the direction that it's tipping to keep that from happening. This one I bet is, Oh, uh, well, okay, that worked. And it's gonna, be, <laughs> it's gonna get tricky seeing if I can balance this without tip. Whoa, whoa. 
So your cairn does need to stand all by itself because you're going to need to take a picture of it um, to turn in for the assignment. So, ooh, this one is, this is challenging. There we go. I got another one. Oh boy, if I can get this little one on there, I got, I used all the stones that I gathered. Whoa, oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, everything fell apart. And see, that's going to happen. It even happens here, our teacher. Don't give up. Just take a deep breath. We try again. This is this is a really good exercise to work on being mindful and focused and not get upset when things don't work out. And you can always, you know, if it if it's too tricky, or you maybe you picked out some things that are just too hard to stack, you can change the things you're stacking, or maybe stack not as many. I'm really determined get this little tiny one on top of there. Let me see, oh, yes, there we go. Okay, so there is my cairn. As you see, um, I managed to stack them all up and the secret was starting with the biggest things on the bottom and then the very smallest things on the top. And you saw me almost tip it over or I did tip it over a couple of times there. So um, it is, it's tricky stuff, this is, um, not easy, but I know you can do it. This is really fun uh, to try. So I want you to just do your best. All I ask in my class is that you try your best and don't give up and have fun doing it. And you're going to be surprised at what you're able to do. All right, so boys and girls, start thinking, do you want to make a stone cairn? Do you want to make a toy cairn? Start thinking about what kind of things can you gather up to stack up into your cairn? And don't forget, when you're done with the assignment, you're going to take a picture of it with your iPad and you will turn that in to Schoology, which I will show you now. Uh, we'll go to Schoology, and get out of here. And once again, this is in the Google Slides, what we're looking at there, that shows you um, the steps of how to upload a photo for an assignment. But well, we can go right on down here. You're gonna be going for Art Week 4 Cairns. And actually, I'm gonna show you this on my iPad instead because then it's the same view that you get of it when you're doing this on your iPad. So let me share my screen. And let me start the broadcast. And you're just about to pop inside my iPad. Here we are. And we're gonna go to that little S down in the corner. That's where it shows up for me. Schoology with the WAWM and the purple stripe under it. Click into there. Make sure you're signed up, signed in under the student's name and not the parent name. Otherwise, you will not be able to turn in assignments. And Ooh, I got to take a picture of my Karen. Hang on, I'm gonna walk you through this. Sorry, so disorganized, but let's get my, my picture here. This one's gonna have my, oh, it's gonna be like infinity. You'll see it through the, wow, check that out. So I took a picture. Now we're going to go to my photos, make sure the picture's in there. There it is right at the bottom. So I can go to Schoology now and I can turn it in. So you will be going to your class. Let me uh, get an example here of one of my 4K classes. Um, there we go. We'll go with Ms. Hishma's class. Go down to the bottom, and I did not publish your green folder yet, um, so I'm going to have to go into this course. This is my test course. Here's your green folder, Art Week 4, Cairns, you click in there, and up on top is the video we are watching now, if you need to rewatch that. Underneath there is the Google Slides that um, covers what the assignment is and shows you um, just a picture of how the steps of turning in the assignment. Otherwise, you go into week four assignment at the bottom, 
And where mine says submissions in the corner here, you will have a submit assignment button. And I'm gonna walk you through that right now, uh, what that looks like. I'm gonna go into the class where I am a student and can actually turn in assignments down here. And I'll go to an assignment. And I'm gonna click on, that'll say submit assignment for you. It says resubmit assignment for me. But the steps will be the same. You are right here. You're going to pick out that gray picture of papers next to the picture of the microphone. Click on that and click on photo library. Then you can go to recent photos if the last picture you took was of your cairn. Check mark your cairn. Press done. It's uploading now. When that writing turns from orange to black, it'll be ready for me to hit the blue submit button and turn in my assignment. It's almost there. Boys and girls, you get to make your cairn very, very soon. And we're gonna submit. And my assignment is now turned in. So I'm gonna get out of my screen share. And now it is time for you all to make your cairns. I cannot wait to see the awesome challenges that you take on and see your cairns. Will it be stones? Will it be toys? I don't know. That's up to you artists. Good luck. Remember, patience and balance. You can do it.